Hello YouTube, it's Sydney Island here. That's Island with the Y, not an S. And I just want to start this video off by saying, subscribe. Give the channel a thumbs up. I mean, this video a <laughs> thumbs up. I'm on this journey to find, like, serenity and tranquility and inner peace, really. Um, and it's, it's not easy, okay? So if anybody else is on a journey to find inner peace and um, tranquility and to just feel calm about themselves and calm about life without like freaking out over everything because as I mentioned in my um, it was a video uh, it was a story time called um, I had a, an embarrassing panic attack at work and I mentioned in that video that I have something called generalized anxiety disorder meaning that I have like anxiety all the time like I'm kind of nervous about everything um, but I don't really talk about it in my everyday life because I feel that it can be cured just, just for me personally. I don't know about anybody else's anxiety or, or anybody else who have anxiety disorder, but I feel that, um, for me, it could be cured by looking within and, um, and, uh, and gaining a, a solid spiritual foundation. Um, I feel that it can be cured, you know, for me, I feel that I can cure it in myself. So I don't like to talk about it and act like it's like a huge problem. I don't like to, you know, act like that I can't do something because of it or anything like that. Um, but in this video, I just want to talk about how I'm deeply into astrology. And there are, you know, a couple of things in my birth chart that says that my life path is about finding serenity. It's about finding peace and also just finding that oneness with God. Ultimately, for me, serenity is having that complete ultimate oneness with God and that's really what that's really the journey that I'm on right now I always try to get the word of God and not just from preachers but also from my own inner voice you know I I I follow my intuition you know um I try to follow my intuition as best as I can because there's been times in my life where I didn't follow my intuition, which my intuition is really good, okay? <laughs> Don't mean to toot my own horn. <laughs> but I have some really good intuition. Like, I have dreams about stuff that um, is about to happen in the future and, and stuff like that. And, you know, um, I, I get feelings and vibes from people. I hope that the camera wasn't too close that whole time. Intuition is your inner voice, really. Your inner voice is the main voice that you need to listen to. Following your inner voice, I feel like, is even more important than listening to the voice of others, you know? Because only your inner voice can really know what's best for you in your life. And I feel that the ultimate way to achieve peace uh, is to follow your own inner voice, is to do exactly what makes you happy. And I'm on this journey to live the life that I want to live, and I want to get there by completely going straight down this path. By following my intuition, taking every step, intuition, intuition, all the way down. And yeah, I'll take people's advice, you know, people want to help me out. But at the end of the day, I still have to look within and ask myself, is this really, really what I want to do? What do I want to do? Is that thing that that person suggested really good for me? People can suggest things out of the goodness of their heart, but you also have to have your own counsel. You also have to have your own opinion and your own mind. This journey to find peace and to achieve serenity, man, it's gonna be a long road. <laughs> I got my palm read and um, the palm reader said that I'm gonna be living for a long time. He said that I might even live to be 100, which I don't know about that, but I do think that I'll live for a very long time, at least to be in my 80s. I feel like it's because it's it's a long road to achieve serenity, and it's very important to me. My soul finds it very important, so my soul will stay on this earth um, until <laughs> it feels that it has achieved serenity. Um, it's going to take a long time because to achieve serenity, it, it don't take like one minute it takes a lifetime despite what anybody tells you ain't nobody completely 100 percent at peace even the spiritual gurus it they that's there's a reason why a lot of the spiritual gurus are old or older because it takes that long it takes until old age to achieve peace it really does so if you're in your early 20s or you know your 20s in general or even in your 30s and you haven't achieved peace it's because you're still a baby even if you're 33 you're still a baby because if you if you die at say 90 that means that 30 is super young okay 30 is super young um because you just got out of your 20s you know so don't feel bad you know like if you um 
haven't achieved that peace that you really wanted to achieve because listen none of us have okay it's hard it's hard out here to just be human in this world and to, to just have to to just try to bust through all of um all the, the stuff that was taught to us to try to just get rid of all that and just drop everything that has been taught to us and completely just be yourself despite the fact that the world would judge the crap out of you that takes a lot of strength, a lot of courage, a lot of energy, a lot of time, a lot of dedication and motivation. So if you're not there yet and you're like my age, which I'm 23, it makes sense. All right, y'all. So I got to go. My mom just told me it's time to go. So I got to go to work. So I'm going to end this video. So like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.